My original background was music and I was kind of interested in music and I met um, a guy who did location recording, sound recording for film and was open, had my eyes open to what that world was. I didn't really know that existed and I saw um, people doing sound design on some really good films in London and thought this is a really exciting area that I hadn't realised. I've always been creative, I've always been interested in technology. It seemed like a really good fit. And I ended up mixing the world's first immersive audio feature film, which was with a team from Skywalker. Um, and that was a Lucasfilm called Red Tails. So that was the world's first uh, film with 3D sound. So it had height channels as well as the normal sort of lower layer. And that really started, um, the ball really got rolling and I ended up remixing a whole host of Hollywood features, um, doing sort of 3D remixes of things like John Wick, um, um, did uh, War, uh, Warcraft, the sort of versions that with Aura 3D and a whole host of films. And that was a really interesting process and thoroughly enjoyed that. And the thing that interests me and excites me um, and compels me to make more is that idea of telling stories. And I think the importance of audio is it's, it's the emotive, you know, it's hearing is the emotive sense. You can really um, get to people emotionally through sound. And I think partly because we're not focused consciously on it. We've all got very visually um, dominated um, perception, but that, um, and we can talk quite clearly about, about picture and there's often a subconscious, um, audio is subconsciously received but that makes it the more powerful and that's what I find interesting. It's actually um, in many respects the driver of um, the emotional aspect of a story and I think that's the interesting bit. It's very hard to put your finger on and hold it and grasp it. It's transitory but I think when it's done um, well it's magical. I think it's a really exciting time for audio and I think um, there's no post-production facility that can really stand still. I think technology is moving forward. We're seeing immersive audio formats spreading everywhere. We're seeing um, new forms of making audio. So I'm starting to be involved with VR and AR, um, six degrees of freedom audio. And there's this sort of new world opening up and there's, it opens up new creative possibilities. So I think for everyone, um, I think there's a global sort of media um, you know, group of people and I think they're all facing similar problems, they're all facing similar new challenges and I think that is shared. It's something you can learn, I think a lot of people think, oh no, I could, that's, that's amazing, how could you create that? But it's a little bit like any skill, I think people often have a tendency with anything that looks creative to think, I'm not sure if I'm creative enough, but you are. And it's literally a case of can you be in a situation where you can learn those skills and can you, um, can you be around people that can impart their knowledge and, and help you with it.